To avoid any confusion before I start the video, I just want to mention that the Kydera DR880 UV+, Plus, which is the one I have here, and the Radiolity GD88 are essentially the same radio, so anything I say for one of them applies equally to the other. So I've been given a new firmware for the Kydera DR880 UV+, Plus, which should also work with the Radiolity GD88, that fixes the issue with the minimum volume being unreasonably loud. Now, this is not an official release, so you can't actually get this firmware from anywhere else right now. The story is, a radio dealer I know showed some of my videos complaining about this radio to Kydera. As far as I know, Kydera are the ones writing the firmware updates for the Radiolity version too. They made this firmware as a quick fix to see if it fixed the issue of the minimum volume being too loud, and he sent it to me to test it out. Now I expect they'll include this fix in the next officially released firmware, but for those of you out there who are using this radio now and would rather have the fix right now, I'm going to be sharing this with you so you can try it out too. Let me just show you a quick demo so you can see how quiet the radio goes now. For comparison I've got my Motorola DP4800 here set to the minimum volume. So I think this is great. I'm really pleased that they've managed to fix this and I hope they can speed up development on the other remaining issues with this radio. The latest firmware from Radiodity on their website is March 2023. And on this radio, if I go into the version info, it shows June 2023. So this is definitely a newer version than you can get from Radiodity. Keep in mind that it was only meant to be a quick fix firmware to see if it fixed the problem, so it may still have other issues, and it's at your own risk if you do want to try it out. Anyway, the link to my blog post, where I keep a repository of information on all the firmware updates, is in the description down below, and this firmware is there for you to download under the title June 2023 Unofficial Version. To flash this firmware to the radio, you'll need to use the same software as usual that I think is normally included with the other Radiodity firmware releases. Let me know if you do try it out and if you think it's better. I certainly think it seems to have solved the issue of the minimum volume being too loud. As usual, please click the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video or found it useful. And you can also consider subscribing if you want to see more videos like this.